that's hanging around. So we got a little activity for everybody. If you want to bring it around here, come on up, bring a lounge chair, and enjoy what we have to offer here at the 42nd Annual Macon County Hillbilly Day, sponsored by the Lafette Line and Linus Clubs. Agave's Mexican Restaurant at 445 Highway 52 Bypass West in Lafayette is a location for authentic Mexican food and great service with a smile. Agave's Mexican Restaurant offers lunch from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. and they have a great lunch menu with great lunch prices. You need to go by Monday through Friday to find out their daily lunch specials. And if you're hungry, don't forget to come to Agave's or call in your order at 615-666-4000. That's Agave's. Aging in Place in Home Care wants everyone to have a great time at Hillbilly Days this year. And Aging in Place in Home Care offers alternatives to nursing homes and assisted living facilities. They require no long-term contracts and are on call 24 hours a day, providing attendant and personal care, in-home respite, emergency button care, and transportation assistance. Call 615-688-7730 for a free in-home assessment. Aging in Place. Their services speak for themselves. It's not like home. It is home. Alexander Funeral Home is more than a business. It's a tradition of comfort and trust. It's a great honor to be of service to you and your family with local people serving you. At Alexander Funeral Home, we know that a family is often left unprepared when death strikes. During your time of need, our professional staff is here to assist you with making those decisions. We're a proud sponsor of Hillbilly Days, and we sincerely wish you and your family have fun at Hillbilly Days. Pace Packaging is a family-owned and operated business and a climate-controlled facility year-round. They offer health, vision, and dental insurance, paid holidays and vacations, disability, and 401k retirement. They promote from within, so if you're interested in a second shift production technician position, come see us and fill out an application. Check out the Pace Packaging at 12954 Fountain Run Road in Fountain Run, Kentucky to apply. Zachary White, Matt Walker, John Cross, and Ivy Phillips. Y'all be ver come up and be ready now. Get on the little runway here that we built for you. Zachary Black. I'm sorry, I got that wrong. That's Zachary Black White. Hi, Zachary. Blankenship Collision Center at 293 West McMurray Boulevard in Hartsville and 400 Highway 52 Bypass East in Lafayette are ASE certified in any make and model. Automobile detailing, body work, and paint jobs. Let Blankenship Collision Center make your vehicle look like new again at the area's state-of-the-art facility. Call Hartsville at 615-374-2380 or Lafayette at 615-688-4232. That's Blankenship Collision Center. Citizens Bank's mobile banking check deposit allows you to deposit your checks as soon as you get them, without a trip to the bank. You simply take a digital picture of the front and the back of the check, and then you send the images to your account from your Citizens Bank smartphone app. It's as simple as taking a picture. It couldn't be easier. Citizens Bank of Lafayette, serving thousands of customers one at a time since 1909. Equal Housing Lender member FDIC. This is a message from City of Lafette Mayor Richard Driver. He would like to extend a special invitation for all of you to come out and enjoy this year's Hillbilly Days at Key Park. This year's Hillbilly Days promises to be even bigger and better. He and all the employees of the City of Lafette all invite you to come out and enjoy all the craft booths, fish fry, loads of bluegrass music, fried pies, and games for the kids. We'll see you there. Clark Lumber hopes everyone has a great time at Hillbilly Days this year. And be sure and call Clark Lumber when you have standing timber, logs, or timber tracks you need to move. Clark Lumber Company is a complete mill service and is master logger certified. Clark Lumber Company has been family owned and operated for more than 30 years. Clark Lumber Company is here to help you with all of your timber harvesting needs. Just give them a call at 615-699-3497 or 615-666-7515. Got that? Yeah, so. 
old Junior Fiddlers up here for you. And this is our first competition that's live on WLCT Country 102. We appreciate those guys joining us here and taking all the shut-in folks that may not be able to get out here on this very, very beautiful God-given day. It could not be any better today. A little breeze and the shade tree of the old oak tree. If they ever cut that down, I won't come back no more. We do. Oh, it's so shady there. So this is our junior fiddlers, folks, and we have four competitors in that. Let's welcome the first competitor. They'll do two songs where the winner will get $150. Zach, that'd be good in anybody's pocket, wouldn't it? Give over $150, 75 second place, 35 for third place. So if you're ready, judges, can you... Y'all ready? Oh, I love it when they wave at me like that. That's good. Let's welcome our first contestant from Lafayette, Tennessee, Zachary Black. <laughs> Zachary White. I'm Zachary White, by the way, and I'm going to try Soldier's Joy. <laughs> Break time in. from Lafayette, Tennessee. Thanks, Zachary, for leading us off like that. Great job, young man. You know, I remember Zach was just a knee high to a grasshopper, and he was trying to play a fiddle. His granddaddy would have it out there, and he was trying to pick on it, and now he's turned into a professional, buddy. Proud of him. All righty, our second contestant in the junior fiddlers, 16 and under, or 16 to 50, excuse me, is uh, from Summer Shade, Kentucky, Matt Walker. Judges contestant number two. Immediately following this, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have some senior fiddlers, and I hope we got some signed up over there. That is uh, on up in years, and I hope we got several of them signed up for that. We'll be getting to that just immediately right after the junior fiddlers. We're uh, 
we have from contestant number two judges, Matt Walker, that's getting ready to perform. My second song is going to be Faded Love.
number two judges, and ladies and gentlemen, Matt Walker from Summer Shade, Kentucky. Thank you, Matt. We hardly don't have to do anything with this next money winner coming up here. I've noticed that when a group gets in, for instance, the flat top competition, a lot of them will also be in the banjo and the fiddle and the harmonica. <laughs> so if you if you're a bluegrass musician, you just about have to uh, do them all, don't you? You just about got to learn how to do them all here. And I'm very proud of all of our people that play these different instruments. I've got a question for you. Is ever has anybody tried one of the Jimmy Gold's famous steak sandwiches back there, pretty darn good. Have you tried any of the rib shear that is smothered in moonshine? Hoss, you talk about sucking juice off a bone. Sonia, you can do it right there, and, and, and I've got to try them just to see if it is that way. Smothered in moonshine sauce. It's got to be good. We got everything in the world over here to eat. Y'all need to go patronize all these people. Leave here a lot heavier than you got here on Thursday. That way we know you have enjoyed Hibbilly Days. 42nd Annual Hibbilly Days. Are we about ready, I think? And judges, if you are, this will be contestant number three. Please welcome back from Gamaya, Kentucky, John Cross. Los Indies. All right, I'm going to play Los Indians. Next is going to be Liberty.
Cross from Gamaya, Kentucky, our contestant number three, and our final competitor. I was just talking to Ivy here, our final contestant in the junior fiddlers, and I said, I said, Ivy, do you do you do dobros? She she said, Yes, sir. I said, What is it you don't do? And her age is 15, if you can believe that, and she's been in every competition we've had today except harmonica. And judges, this has nothing to do with her talent, but she is 15 years old. She has mastered all these instruments in that short time and still stayed as pretty as she is. Isn't that something else? Fifteen years old. I, I tell you what, it takes, it takes people like her to continue on the fine tradition of bluegrass music and fiddling and banjo playing and stuff because if the young ones didn't learn, it sort of fade away, and we certainly don't want that to happen. So let's welcome back again from Chapman Burra, Tennessee. That's in Cheatham County. Please welcome Ivy Phillips. Mm -hmm. My first song is going to be one called Fiddle Patch. Last song's gonna be one called Our Wall.
got the winners for the junior fiddle competition. Once again, before we announce the winners, please give another big round of applause for all of our junior fiddle competitors today. Coming in at third place, with $35 being the prize, Matt Walker. Coming in second place, with a $75 prize, Zachary White. And coming in at first place to claim a $150 prize, Miss Ivy Phillips. Coming up next will be our senior fiddle competition. We'll get the show started with R.B. Scruggs, followed by Rob Piercy, and then Eddie Walker. So if our senior fiddlers will go ahead and make their way up, please, we'll get started with the senior fiddle competition momentarily. Lycans Roofing wants everyone to be sure and get out and enjoy